Denji walks down the street, thinking about Makima and how her words calmed his pent up worries. He thinks about how she will be the only girl he will be romantically interested in. Suddenly, it begins raining as Denji runs for cover. Hiding in a telephone booth, Denji tries to wait out the storm. He is surprised by the sudden appearance of a young woman. Hello? As the rain stops, she invites him to the cafe she works in. The girl sits next to him, ordering a pair of coffees for them both, which Denji drinks with a disgusted frown. <laughs> she laughs and flirtatiously touches his shoulder as a flustered Denji wonders whether she likes him. The girl introduces herself as Reze. Days later. Denji returns to the cafe. As he enters, Reze remarks that he's eaten there every day that week. She invites him over to her table, but Denji mentions he's unable to read. When he reveals he can only write balls, she laughs. laughs. He states his desire to learn how to read, with Reze moving closer and inviting him to attend night school with her. That night, Denji and Reze walk through the empty school. Sat in a classroom, Reze pretends to teach Denji simple nonsensical facts such as 1 plus 1 equals 2. Reze comments on Denji's lack of education, asking whether his life as a devil hunter is truly worthwhile for him. Denji says his job provides him with three square meals and a bed, but Reze reminds him that's the bare minimum acceptable living conditions. Reze notices Denji's discomfort and suggests they take a swim. <laughs> By the outdoor pool, Reze strips naked. Denji admits he can't swim but gets naked anyway despite his internal worries about Makima. <laughs> Even though he's a bit nervous, Denji eventually jumps in as Reze starts to teach him how to swim. It begins raining and the two return indoors. As they sit inside and watch the rain, Reze invites him to a food festival taking place the next day before leaving to use the bathroom. As she walks the hallway alone, Reze is approached by a strange man wielding a knife. Reze is chased outside by the man on top of a rooftop. When she asks what he wants, he simply responds to torture and control Denji. And to achieve that, he will gouge out her eyes and peel her face off. The moment he lunges at her, she dodges his attack, swings onto his back, and chokes him with barely any effort. As he slowly dies, she sings a lullaby in Russian. Reze gets up and soon after discovers the storm is caused by none other than the Typhoon Devil. The Devil apologizes to her calling her Miss Reze as she promises to overlook the incident in exchange for obeying her commands. The next day, Denji and Reze attend the festival. After an eventful day together, they climb atop a hill to view fireworks in the evening. As Reze turns to him, she tells him that she'll make him happy and protect him if he quits devil hunting. Conflicted, Denji asks why Reze wants to run away with him. She responds she likes him. Denji admits he's tempted but he explains he's becoming happier with his current position with the bureau when he asks if he can still see her despite this she asks if he likes anyone else before kissing him after a few moments denji falls backwards and it's revealed reze bites off his tongue Denji attempts to pull his cord, but Reze swiftly slices off his hand before he can. Reze kneels close and kisses him again, before apologizing and calmly telling him she wants his heart until Beam bursts from the floor and grabs Denji, fleeing with him down the hill. Embarrassed by his failure to recognize Reze's scent earlier, Beam was reminded that it smelled like that of a bomb. Reze pulls a pin out of her choker and her head and right arm explode, revealing to be the bomb devil hybrid. Holding Denji tightly, Beam attempts to escape from Reze, however, she uses powerful explosions to launch herself in front of him and blocks his path. Beam growls and transforms into a giant shark-headed creature. Time to get serious. Never mind. With little effort, Reze touches his face, hitting him with an explosion and knocking him down. A trio of private devil hunters appear and report the situation over a walkie-talkie. Snapping her fingers, Reze explodes the three of them before turning back and noticing Beam has fled with Denji. At a nearby division training facility, Aki spars with some hunters until he's interrupted by a heavily injured Beam clutching Denji's tattered body. Beam reveals the bomb devil is the gun devil's partner and that the bomb hybrid is coming. At that moment, Reze arrives at the facility, pulls the pin out of her choker, and begins assaulting everyone there. She easily takes down every devil hunter she encounters. Meanwhile, Aki prepares to drive Angel Devil and the unconscious Denji and Beam away from the building. Before the car can start, Reze appears in front of the vehicle with the severed heads of two devil hunters. Attempting to escape, Aki starts the car and swerves around her. As Reze jumps on top of the car, she attempts to smash her way to Denji, but she is ambushed and knocked back with a kick from the Violence Fiend. The Fiend kicks at Reze again, however, she is able to block his attack, much to its surprise. Violent Fiend, realizing how much weaker he is, retreats as Reze confused, leaves the scene to find Aki and the rest of the game. 
Aggressively blasting her way towards Aki and the gang, she lands on a large truck immediately behind them as Denji awakens from his daze with a gasp. Aki tells the group that their main goal is keeping Denji away from her, but Denji transforms and cuts his way through the car towards her as Aki warns him about his lack of blood. Angry, Denji tells Reze that every woman he has ever met has tried to kill him, asking why so many are interested in the chainsaw's heart but not his. Reze tells him her feelings for him were real, making Denji hesitate. Yet Aki tells him to not be so gullible as Denji comments that he doesn't need Reze anymore since he has Makima. Denji yells that he doesn't want Reze's death on his conscience and plans to capture her as he launches himself at her. Denji gets punched by Reze and is flung back. Reze chastises him and says he needs to use his powers more effectively. Proving her point, Reze reveals that she let Denji slice off one of her fingers, which is now stuck on Denji's chains, and causes the severed finger to explode. Denji leaps out and attacks. However, Reze's reflexes are too quick, and she blasts the pair into the air. Moving through the air, Reze's leg transforms into a missile, launching them back into the ground and tearing Denji's body apart. She then picks up Denji's severed torso and blasts it, rendering it into a smoldering mass. As Reze walks through the ruined building, Aki sneaks up on her and slices off her arm, causing her to drop Denji. After seeing a vision from the future devil, Aki moves back and begins to dodge Reze's attacks. In retaliation, Reze transforms her arm into a missile and hits the ground, causing a massive explosion. As Aki is knocked back by her blast, we see the violence fiend arrive, pulling him out of harm's way. As the two look to Reze, she pauses and asks for a timeout, commenting that a two against one fight is unfair. Reze reveals her hesitation was merely a ploy as a now monstrously massive typhoon devil crashes through a nearby building, offering to enter the fight. Nearby, Angel Devil moves through the rubble, absorbing the life force of a dying victim, offering their blood to restore Denji's strength. Beam advises Denji to use his chainsaws more effectively to move more quickly by wrapping the chains around objects and swinging from building to building. Getting excited about expanding his power, Denji orders Beam to turn into a shark. Denji jumps onto Beam's back and uses the chainsaw chains as reins, hoping to ride him like a horse. Denji and Beam charge towards the fight. Moving in, Denji is able to slice off Reze's leg. The Typhoon Devil gives her blood, healing her. Both Denji and Reze express excitement as to the insanity of the conflict. Denji is able to easily rip the Typhoon Devil to shreds. Losing sight of Reze, she attacks the pair from above, blasting Denji and Beam into the ground. Beam appeared to have taken the brunt of the blast as Denji crawled out of his mouth. Reze and Denji face off on a rooftop as she asks him to give up. She remarks that he has nowhere else to run, to which Denji responds that the ocean is directly behind them, reminding her that she taught him how to swim. Reze flicks another blast at his other arm, but it's revealed that Denji managed to keep the arm attached to his torso by placing a chain between his shoulder and forearm. Using the chains to tie Reze up, he leaps into the ocean. Reze, being unable to explode while wet, sinks to the bottom with Denji. The next morning, in her human form, Reze is seen lying next to Denji in an unconscious beam on a nearby beach. When she asks him why he saved her, he tells her that he did it for his own happiness and allowing her to be captured or killed would haunt him. She reminds him that she could still easily kill him, to which she playfully responds, if I'm going to die, at least let it be at the hands of a beautiful woman. <laughs> Reze starts to laugh, telling him every flirtatious gesture she made was part of her plan, but Denji still wants to go on the run with her. Denji tells her that he likes her sincerely, and that even if all of her comments were lies, she still taught him to swim, implying some sort of affection between them. Reze moves closer to him, before snapping his neck, but not before Denji calls out, inviting her to the cafe at noon if she changes her mind. Instead of fleeing from town, Reze begins to walk to the cafe that Denji is at, smiling with anticipation. However, suddenly a mob of mice run by her feet as Makima reveals herself. Reze nervously moves to pull the pin in her neck, however, her arm is instantly sliced off. She quickly attempts moving in towards Makima with a knife, but is impaled by a spear thrown from a rooftop by Angel Devil. As Reze slowly bleeds out, Makima takes her hand. Looking to the cafe, Reze thinks of Denji one final time. As it turns out, she really did care for Denji. Inside the cafe, Denji holds a bouquet of flowers satin. The owner speaks to him, promising that another girl will eventually come along who is perfect for him. As he says this, Power walks in, thinking the bouquet Denji was holding is for her and demands that he hands her the flowers. And as the two look at each other, Denji quickly shoves them into his mouth, smiling. The next major story arc in Chainsaw Man is the International Assassin's Arc, which you can click right here.